Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. In this video, we will see how to create define.xml using Pinnacle 21 community. So here, we I have my Pinnacle 21 community version opened on the desktop. You can download it from Pinnacle 21 website. So in order to create uh, define.xml using P21 community, it, there are two steps involved. The first one is to create a specification for creating define.xml using the xpt files and the second step is to fill in the information in that excel file and then use it to create define.xml again using community so the first step is to create spec so i am clicking here on the define.xml and then clicking on create spec so after that so here i'll go to browse and then so i already have the path selected so i have my xpt files for the study ready so i am selecting all of them and clicking on open so i have all the xpt files selected so configuration so we are trying to create uh, define.xml for our sdtm dataset which are based on sdtm 3.2 so let us select sdtm ig 3.2 So now let's click on this create button. So it is creating a define.xml Excel specification for us. So it created the Excel specification. So we'll open that spec. So it creates a blank specification for us based on the data which we have available in the specification so it creates a sheet for data sets it creates a sheet for variables value level code list dictionaries and methods comments etc so the information so in most of the companies like what we'll have is we'll have macros uh, which will be using our sdtm programming specification as input to fill in the information required for this define.xml excel specification so for as example we'll try to fill for one variable so let's say if we want to provide a so we have our comment column here so we want to give an identity unique identifier for our comment so so i have given a unique identifier called ae.aeseq so let us copy this go back to comment sheet and let's add that so for this comment identifier i want to give a comment saying that so set it to assign as one on the first record of each subject increment it by one on subsequent records after sorting based on key variables so i want to give this definition or derivation logic for aeseq in my define.xml similarly you will have to fill in the information across all the sheets for variables, value level, code list, dictionaries, methods, etc. So, as I mentioned earlier, so companies will have macros to populate information in this Excel sheet using uh, our SDTM programming specification. So, I have now uh, saved this particular one variable. So, I'll just save this and then close this file. I'll go back to my Pinnacle 21. So earlier we have used create spec option. So now we will be using the updated uh, define XML specification, Excel specification to create our define.xml. So again, we will be pro we have option to create define XML 2.1 and also 2.0. So let us say we want to create define XML in version two. So let's open the Excel specification. So it will be stored under 
the under documents pinnacle 21 community so we have our defines so here we have earlier i have tested for one so which was yesterday so and then i have the latest one here wherein i have filled the information for aec variable so let us select that file and then click on generate define so it has used the information which we have filled in the define xml excel specification and then created the define.xml for us so let us close this go back to our pinnacle 21 community folder so where we have the defines so i was testing it a little earlier so i have define.xml created let's sort by date modified so we have an xm define xml created so here so let us open that so if you are using latest version of windows like windows 10 and 11 where you do not have internet explorer so you will have to use a tweak to open the xml files using edge browser so all you once you have your uh, define xml loaded so you will find an option called reload in internet explorer mode if you do not find this reload in internet explorer mode so what you need to do is go to settings search for internet explorer so somewhere down here so you will find an option explore you will find an option let internet explorer opens uh, where is this sorry so allow sites to be reloaded in internet explorer mode so you'll have to select it as allow so once you have this option enabled so you'll be able to find this option of reload in internet explorer mode so once you have this so we will be able to open define.xml using you know, microsoft edge browser if you do not have internet explorer available on your computer so i have i am able to open the define.xml that is created so as i have not created any uh, value level metadata or control terminology it is not listed here so but once you fill in the information there in the excel file and then regenerate your define so you will find those relevant information as well so we have now added only one variable derivation under AE. So let us go to AE. So to see the list of variables under AE. So here we see we have added a derivation logic or comment for our AEC variable. So the updated version is reflected here. Similarly, we will fill in the information there for other variables and other value level metadata and control terminology. So then we will recreate the define.xml to so and that everything will be reflected here so this way you will be able to use pinnacle 21 community to create define.xml file so thank you for watching and keep learning